President Barack Obama is set to arrive in Michigan. That is what is headlining our homepage, mynbcnews.com, and this is today's Workplace Webcast. I'm Jared Smith. The President will arrive in suburban Detroit later this afternoon and speak at two fundraisers to help raise money for his re-election campaign. Here's some file footage we have of the President speaking in Ann Arbor back in January. That's the last time he appeared in the state of Michigan. His opponent in this November's presidential election, Mitt Romney, is a Michigan native and has outraised the commander-in-chief thus far in his home state. On this trip, President Obama could raise upwards of $1 million. Log on to our homepage, mynbcnews.com, for more on this story. A local ambulance service is receiving top marks in patient care. The Swartz Ambulance Service announced today in a press release that they have been ranked in the top 20 for patient satisfaction in a survey of EMS providers across the U.S. The EMS survey team is a nationally recognized and benchmarked patient satisfaction survey program developed specifically for the EMS community. Established in 1975, the Swartz Ambulance Service is one of the largest locally owned and operated ambulance services in Genesee County. A Flint High School needs your help to make it onto the hit NBC show Smash. Members of the Flint Northwestern High School Performing Arts Department appeared on the NBC 25 Today show this morning to help raise support and get your votes. They are one of the 30 finalists out of 1,000 applicants for the Fall 2012 Smash Make a Musical Initiative. Flint Northwestern is one of three schools in the state of Michigan to become a finalist. For more on this story and to vote for Flint Northwestern, Log on to our homepage, mynbcnews.com. On a lighter note, myself, Joel Fike, saw how the other half feels this morning as we rock some high heels on our morning show. It wasn't all fun and games, however, as Joel, Bill Harris, and myself will be walking a mile in her shoes on Friday in downtown Flint, and it's all for a good cause to support the YWCA and help raise awareness for the International Men's March to stop rape, sexual assault, and gender violence, and we hope to see out there. Over in sports, the Red Wings are on the brink of elimination after their loss last night in Game 4, the Western Conference quarters to the pesky Nashville Predators. Here was the scene in the Wings locker room after the game. It's definitely disappointing, but uh, you know they still have to win more, one more game. Um, I'm not the type of person to uh, you know just roll over. Uh, you know I'm going to give them whatever it takes. You know, you know next game. And then just got to try and win one right now. No, we, we couldn't capitalize on the chances. We had a lot of chances that we, we didn't score on, and, you know, we finally got one on the power play. But, you know, we needed another goal, and we couldn't get it. I think we hit the post there late in the game. Figure out Nashville keeper Pekka Rina, who made 40 saves in net to slam the door on the Wings offense. The Sears will now move back to the Music City as Detroit must win three in a row to keep their season alive. Game five, Friday night in Nashville. And for more on the top stories today, log on to our homepage. You can see it on our monitor right here, mynbcnews.com. Don't forget, chime in on what you read by logging on to our Facebook page, NBC 25 News, or hit us up on Twitter, NBC underscore 25. Well, that's it for news and sports. Let's head over to the Winter Weather Center where Janet Vandewinkle has a look at today's forecast. Janet. Thanks, Jared. As you know, this morning was cold. We had a freeze warning and a frost advisory, but we're warming up quickly today. 65 for a high. We'll continue to see temperatures in the 60s all the way through early on this evening. Then we're only going to fall to the upper 40s overnight. Be aware that there is a stray shower overnight with cooler, cloudier weather on the way for tomorrow.